grocery haul included in this video as well so make sure you stay tuned for that we are going to go into Aldi and we're going to go shopping a little bit to see what they have new for fall and Halloween I haven't done that in a while and I've had some of you ask about it so I do want to do that and I want to pick up a few more things I've been in there shopping but I haven't bought anything and I kind of want to look at their candles if they have any left so we'll see what happens I was just about to pull out of my driveway I noticed I had some packages on my front porch so I need to get those also, I did a Walmart pickup order because you know I've just kind of been going shopping beforehand and then doing my Walmart pickup order because it's just way easier to do it that way. Well, this time in my app, it actually let me choose if I wanted to not replace the item with the substitution they gave me, which today I had four substitutions and I didn't want any of them. So I said, don't replace, and it just took it completely off my order. Normally you have to wait and make sure that they take it off and all of that stuff, but they have upgraded and I'm so excited about that. So anyway, I thought I would let you guys know that. I always have a link down below in the description box. If you are new to Walmart grocery pickup, it's a lifesaver. It will save you $10 off of your first order. So make sure you click that down below if you ever wanna try it. You don't even have to get out of the car or anything like that. Super easy. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I forgot to mention, my name's Mackenzie and I do grocery hauls and shopping videos on my channel every single week and some cooking videos. So if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video and let's get started. First, before we head to the grocery store, can we talk about this? Okay, I've got to get under this because it is raining, but actually I was about to back out of my driveway and then I saw this on my front porch. Welcome to my life. I have no idea what's in any of these packages. I'm supposed to be expecting an espresso machine in the mail today. I'm really, really excited about it. I've been wanting one for a while, but I don't know much about them. I just know that the coffee is supposedly so much better. I probably won't keep my Keurig. I just don't have enough room for it. So. We shall see if I like it. I ordered it from Target. They had them on sale. I don't know if they still will by the time this video goes up, but I'll definitely try to link below the one that I got. But anyway, I just stopped at Ingles to do all of the coffee things first. So hopefully I'll have time to show you a few things in Ingles if I find anything new. I'm gonna get myself a coffee and one around the store, get my creamer, and then we'll go to Aldi, one around that store find all the new things and then we'll go pick up the Walmart order. So I have a lot of people ask me where I get my reusable hot and cold cups. Honestly, I get them usually at this local Ingles Starbucks. As you can see, they have the cold cups. They're only $3. The hot are $2. I'm not really sure what those are up there. And then they also have water bottles over here too. All right, so I got my coffee. I got a salted caramel mocha. I got it iced, so delicious. She did not spell my name right. She was missing the A, but that's okay. That's normal. We're gonna take a look at some of the Halloween stuff real quick before I go get my creamer. And y'all, I always get these big shopping carts just because I feel like the smaller ones just look funny. Here's a small one right here, um, but you know, has a drink holder. I just, I don't know. You never know how full this thing's gonna end up, okay? I should probably get some candy in here because I ordered some for my Walmart pickup and they actually did not have it. They substituted it for something that I didn't want. So I was like, nope, these are cute. 
These are really cute. These are really cute. These are light up pumpkins. Cotton candy swirls. Love these bowls. So adorable. I mean, not adorable, just kind of spooky, but you know, that's my word. Adorable, cute as well, whatever. Reese Puff Bats. I'm sure you all have seen that. They did have that last year and probably the year before. Honestly, I think I'm going to wait and possibly go to Aldi and see what kind of candy they have because their candy is really expensive. I'm just not feeling it. Oh man, I just thought of something. Since I bought an espresso, I'm not going to be able to use a lot of these K-cups or coffees. This is like my absolute favorite coffee, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay, this looks new. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just seasonal, but they've got this Stayful Organic Maple Hot Oatmeal. Now that I'm getting an espresso, I feel like I want all of these syrups, but I think that I'll wait and see if I actually like it first. I've totally never seen these before. That's pretty cool. French vanilla, mocha, caramel macchiato, 10 calories per serving. It's like a artificial flavoring sweetener. Or creamer, should I say? Okay, Ingles is starting to get in, I guess, some of their Christmas gifts. These blankets are so beautiful. They're only $9.98, and honestly, that's really big. That's a 50 by 70 inch. Most blankets like this, throw blankets, are 50 by 60. But these big gray, like, buffalo check ones are only $12.98, and they have a few different colors. Oh my goodness, look at all of these soup bowls. We really need some soup bowls. We have one that we like all kind of share, but we all really need a nice soup bowl. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been looking for some new socks. Looks like I might end up coming to Ingles just for socks and coffee and creamer. What is my life? Oh, I love all of this sparkling juice. I love when they come out with this. They have cider and spice crisp apple cider. They have pumpkin spice, of course. I don't know what glog is. I'm sure somebody will definitely correct me. Caramel apple, mmm. We already have the holiday cookies out as well. I know these aren't new or anything, but I just wanna let you know that I did get one of these at Walmart. I was watching Miss Remy Ashton the other day. Yes, I love watching her and Alicia. And she was making, I think, this one, but I got this one, and I'm so excited it's in my Walmart order. I wonder if that tastes like blooming onion sauce. Y'all, look what we got here. Pumpkin pie, pecan pie, sweet potato pie. Crispy salted caramel cookies. These are crispy brownie cookies, yum. Okay, I don't know that I've ever showed this in a video before, but they do have Moe's queso here at Ingles. It's $9.99 for the bigger one. And the smaller one, I believe, is $4.99. So, and in the smaller one, you can also get the Southwest queso. Honestly, Ingles has always so much good stuff in the frozen aisles, but I have no time. I've got to hurry up so I can go to Aldi. Okay, so I came over here to show you their pecan pie, but it looks like they don't have any. I found this one. Don't ask why I'm in the baby section, but I mean, that packaging just caught my eye. Y'all know how I am. So that's where I'm at. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's been so long since I've had a baby. I didn't even know they still made these things. They also have these really neat looking confetti bowls. They're only $9.98, kind of like a mixing bowl. If I wouldn't have just bought that full set from Sam's Club, I would totally get it. They have the smaller ones as well. Ooh, I like the clear one. And then they have these tumblers over here. I don't know, like these are the most exciting for $8.98. Pretty good quality. And then they have this big marble mixing bowl for $2.98. These plates are only $1.28, so these are actually really good prices. And of course, take a look there. We already have our eggnog in the store. Let me know down in the comments below. This is a really good question. Do you like eggnog? And they also have silk nog and almond breeze nog, I guess if you're dairy free. 
Okay, so I'm at the Creamers finally. Look at Snickers being a little festive. Fat free hazelnut. I haven't seen that yet. Okay, guess what? This is the last Oreo creamer they have. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin everywhere. Everywhere you look, pumpkin. Mini apple snack pies. Okay, it looks like I found a limited edition cookies. I don't know, little bites. Should I get these? I think I should. I mean, I love confetti, birthday cake flavored anything. Why wouldn't I? These cookies look really good. I don't know if the girls would like them, but I feel like this could be like a date night cookie for me and Alex to make. I feel like these cans were a good idea. You've got mango, lemonade, black cherry, and hard strawberry. You might not know what you like. All right, so I finally made it to Aldi. We don't have much time. It is 1248. My pickup window to pick up my groceries from Walmart is from one to two, so and they've already sent me a notification to let me know it's ready. So I'm gonna have to like zoom through here. I don't need anything in here anyway. I really just wanna show you guys what's new. I wanna see what's new. But if I find something that I want, obviously I'm gonna get it. But that's the only reason we're going in here. So we'll probably zoom in here, but we'll see what we can find. Hopefully some good stuff. Okay, so we are in Audi. The first thing I see are these pretty sure these are like for Christmas time. I might be incorrect, but they look so good. We've got cherry, apple, and I'm not sure what this one is. We have some pumpkin pie and some oatmeal cranberry cookies. Those look delicious. Oh, wow, these look really good. Like chocolate frosted donuts, chocolate on chocolate, but I feel like that would be way too sweet. And then we've got this vanilla caramel. That looks really, really good. What's the date on it? 1014. Should I get this? Oh my God. They also have these pumpkin spice mini cupcakes. Also, seriously, who doesn't love a good batch of apple cider donuts? These look delicious. They actually look perfect. I might get these. Oh man, too bad I've already got bananas from Walmart. Look at these bananas. Ooh, they have apple cider. It is $3.49 for a gallon. Okay, let me know if any of you have tried this Bang Bang Asian style sauce from Aldi. That does not look like honey mustard. I'm just saying. They have apple chips, they have cinnamon and original. These barbecue kettle chips are so, so good. They're like my absolute favorite. If I hadn't already ordered my chips from Walmart, I would totally get these now. I didn't know they had baked. That kind of makes me excited. I love baked chips too. I was so sad when the Dorito brand stopped carrying baked Doritos. Anybody else? I also miss 3D Doritos. So I've also heard these are really, really good. I'm not gonna get them because I know I would like them, but I'd only eat like half of one or one and then my family probably wouldn't like these so I'm not gonna get them but they're only a dollar ninety-nine and I've heard very good things about them. Y'all check out these little ready crust graham cracker pies. They're like mini pie crust. Just to let you know if you like slow cooker liners basically people use them just to make the cleanup a little bit easier. They do have a four pack at Aldi for $149. I'm trying to stop using them. I don't know how comparable this price is. You may be saving about a dollar because I think they're $3.97 at Walmart for an eight pack, but just in case you didn't know that. But like I said, I'm gonna try to stop using them as much. Y'all already know I have to get these. Like, that's all there is to it. And they have pumpkin spice. Like, yes. They also have pumpkin spice granola, as well as just a harvest granola mix. Cinnamon and brown sugar sweet potato chips. We also have some pumpkin spice cookie thins, as well as some apple crumble cookie thins. These are definitely the ones I would go for. They also have this sparkling fresh apple cider. This is non-alcoholic, I think. That's pretty awesome. I love 
those. Those look delish. They are kind of pricey. They're $3.99 for a four pack. Pumpkin spice waffles. These look really good too. Wait a second, what is this? Legends mini mix. Somebody explain this to me. Cookie and caramel. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this, but pretty cool. Ah, they do have the Halloween candles. Yay, I'm excited. They also have this really cute Haunted House cookie kit. Oh, check these out. I did not know they were gonna have these this week. Parmesan crisp, and they are pizza and jalapeno. $2.89. Also, look at Aldi. They've got their very own s'mores creams. Kind of like s'mores Oreos. Get it, Aldi. Such a cute little wreath for only $12.99. And then look at these little lights for $8.99. They're galvanized lanterns. Okay, these are cute little crafts. And they're only $2.99. Very affordable. Muddy Buddies. Chex Mix. I love when they make all like the Halloween foods and stuff. But just wait. My cups. My cups. And I only see like the skull one and the ghost and I wanted the ghost so it's like perfect. These are really cute too. Halloween union sets. They're like sets for the family. $14.99. They have these Sherpa throws up here for $12.99. I really really like that blush pink looking color. That is a really really nice set. I actually just bought a set almost just like this off of Amazon. I'll try to link it down below. It was very affordable. This one is $12.99. I think I paid a similar price for mine, but such a good deal. And then they have, look at these, iron cookware. These little mini griddles. These are so cool. I really, really, really want to get some of these frozen kind bars because they were so good last week. That's my review. Oh my goodness. But I don't know if I have enough time. The line is so long. These might melt. But look at this. Caramel sea salt cake. They also have a chocolate cream cake. We've got some pumpkin ice cream in there, French vanilla, apple pie, cherry pie. Pumpkin spice latte cold brew coffee with almond milk. Found these cookies at checkout. Okay, so I'm finally back from Aldi and Walmart and Ingles. I feel like it's been a super long day, but I am happy to report that I did remember to bring my reusable grocery bags to Aldi because I feel like I always forget. Those are the best ones. I always have them linked down in the description box, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. But first, last week's winner of my grocery total was Kayla G. She guessed $135 on the dot and she was closest. And we had so many people that guessed around that same amount, so it was crazy but she is the winner of last week's guess my grocery total and she will get coffee on me so if you want to guess this grocery total this week just go ahead and guess the total of my grocery haul everything some of this is Aldi some of this is Walmart so just guess how much you think it was all together but before I get into my grocery haul I do want to show you my meal plan for the week I only got a meal planning board that would stick to my fridge and I did order a couple extra markers I'll link it below if you want to try it, but this is for the week of October 12th. So Monday, we're going to have chicken pot pie casserole. Tuesday is tacos. Wednesday's lemon pepper chicken, veggie soup on Thursday. And on Friday, that just means find your own food. And Saturday is usually takeout, usually like date night or if we go out to eat as a family. And then I have just some things on here that I need from Sam's Club when we go next week. So that is my meal plan for the week. Okay, so this is my whole grocery haul, including everything I got from Ingles and what I got from Aldi. So I'm gonna start over here. It's a little crazy, just like always. Got a gallon of milk per usual. I did stop by Ingles to get my favorite Oreo creamer. I got two of these Stoke cold brew coffees. I got those at Walmart. Some pineapple juice. Me and Alex are going to be making some drinks this weekend, so you'll see something else here in a minute. Vanilla caramel creamer. I just think this one is the best from Aldi. It's just so good. 
I did grab those caramel apple pretzels I saw. Love those. They have stuff like that every year and I always try to grab them at least once. We were out of butter, so I grabbed another thing of butter. I grabbed Alex some potato salad. We've never had this one from Aldi, so hopefully it's good. He loves potato salad. Also, I kind of wish I would have got the bananas at Aldi. I mean, these probably won't last much longer, but you know, what can I do? I did get an orange, a red, and a green pepper. And then when I was in Aldi, one of the things I was looking for were some of these limited edition candles. The other one they had in there that said keep out, I was not a huge fan of the smell, but these smell really, really good. And I love the way this one looks. This is Witch's Brew. And then I also just got this coffee mug, which I'm really, really excited about. So cute. I'm actually gonna use it in a minute if I can get my Nespresso machine to work. Yikes. Anyway, grab some of these for me and Alex to eat this weekend. I don't think either one of us has had those. This was a random purchase on Walmart's website. Don't ask. Grabbed just another bag of salad. Two of these for the girls to munch on, snack on, take to lunch, whatever they want to do. I stocked up on some canned foods just that I like to have around the house. Cream of chicken, chicken broth, green beans, potatoes, carrots, sweet peas. And then I got some of this for Alex. He likes to snack on these. And then I found these mini bagels. Y'all know we buy bagels every week, but I found these mini ones. And I hadn't seen them in my stores before, but I've seen other people talk about them. So I thought those would be really neat to have. And then I got these croissants from Walmart for the first time last week. And let me tell you, they were so freaking good. They taste just like this restaurant nearby. I think it's pretty local, so I'm not gonna name it, but it's so good. And then you need to use this butter with it. What I like to do is put these on broil for about I don't know, 10 minutes, but I always put them on the bottom shelf. Keep an eye on them. You know, when you broil anything, you have to be careful. And then I will heat some of this in the microwave for like 10 or 15 seconds, drizzle it over. Oh my gosh, it's the best snack of life. Trust. Got some cashews, if I didn't already say that. Some vanilla icing. Got some Gatorade. We hadn't bought that in a while, so I just added it to the cart, honestly. Um, I got this. I said this in Ingles, but I got this. And I'm so excited to try it because I've never had Ghirardelli brownies, so I'm excited. And then I got some shells and cheese at Aldi. I don't know if I've tried those before yet. Some more ranch because, yes, we're already out of it because we made buffalo chicken dip on the last video, if you remember. We were out of peanut butter this week. And Alex wanted to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we didn't have peanut butter. Like, who doesn't have peanut butter? Got some of Alex's favorite dip. I like this dip a lot, too. Got some ground beef, some chicken breast, and then a pack of eggs. And then also just a couple. Actually, these are new to me. I've never tried these before, but these are like mini cinnamon toast. I don't know. They just look good. Maybe I was hungry when I was shopping. I got these apple cider donuts that I showed you. I got those from Aldi. Cannot wait to try those. I let mine heat it up. Let me know. Do you like yours heated up? Because if you go to Dunkin' Donuts, they don't heat it up for whatever reason, but it's better heated up. I got six of these. I got three pink and I got three orange, but the rest are in the fridge. Got these cookie bites that I showed. They are, I guess, new, so I definitely wanted to try them. Also got this pack of combos just for them to snack on during the week and taking their lunches, as well as the Reese's Puff Treats. So actually I've never had those before, so I'm excited about those. Got some sweet and sour because like I said, we're making some drinks this weekend. Bagel bites. This is like bringing me back to my childhood right now. Like this is, oh, I mean, all the goods. No shame in my game, judge if you please. Also, this is the chip of choice that I picked this week. Grab some spicy nacho Doritos, some great value ruffle chips for dip. And then I have never tried these french fries, believe it or not. So I love seasoned fries, so we're gonna give those a try sometime this week. But that is everything I got this week in my grocery haul. Don't forget to guess and leave it down below. And if you are the first one to guess closest, you will get coffee on me next week. 
So I'm literally over here about to try these and I'm like, why don't I just try them on camera and let them know how they are. Um, the ones last year were a little bit different. They had a red bag and they were actually more like pinkish in color, but this is what it looks like. Those are actually really, really good. The only thing is I thought this had a zipper in it and it doesn't. So I guess I'm just gonna have to clip it together. So that's my review on those. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys out of my back patio because this is where I'm about to chill for the next, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Can y'all hear that? Is that like a sheep or something? Anyways. This is like my chill spot. I need to clean that table, ignore that. I usually don't have company here, you know, but here you guys are. Anyways, I thought I would do my outro out here because it's so relaxing and peaceful. Anyways, this is what it sounds like to live out in the country. I am just going to enjoy some quiet time out on my porch for a little bit this afternoon and then probably go get some more work done but I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do grocery hauls every single week and shopping videos every single week. And with Christmas coming up, I'm gonna have so many shopping videos. I can't wait. This is like my favorite time of year. So definitely subscribe, stick around, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Follow me over on Instagram for more fun because we have fun over there too. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.